Welcome back to the silo, everyone. It's been a couple of months since we were up here last. You can see we got all this snow on the ground now, but we got a couple of nice days of 30s and 40 degree weather. So we're thinking that's a good time to get get this roof up there. And if you've seen the last video, it's it's turned out pretty darn sweet. So let's just hope it fits up there. But before we bring that in and start assembling it, we actually want to build our top platform first. So we got something nice and solid to work off of instead of just the lift. But we're going to be doing something a little cool with the floor as well. So we'll kind of show you and talk about that later. We got our lift in there. We got our wood. We're ready. Let's finally get this roof on this silo. All right, we got our top floor finished. And basically what we did was just use a bunch of joist hangers. We anchored them to the wall and then a bunch of two by eights for, uh, for our joist and blocking in between. So it did take quite a, quite a while. And then on the very top, we just threw plywood over everything. But what we actually ended up doing or what we're gonna be doing is where that square is in the center, we're gonna be cutting that out when we're all done working up there. So what that'll be is like a giant look through from the bottom through the second floor all the way up to our roof keystone beam. So you'll, we'll be able to see that from down here. But yeah, it went pretty smooth. It's solid as can be. So next step is bringing in the roof beams and we're gonna get going on that tonight. Got a little late on us last night, but we did get the lower portion of this roof all assembled. And as you can see here, we got a lot of shimming going on, and that's because our cap on the silo has a big pitch inward. 
So we shimmed it temporarily, but we'll fill this all with mortar when it gets warmer out. And we didn't dowel or anchor it down at all yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the entire roof and then do that last. So in case we gotta tweak it a little bit, but I think the next step is we're gonna get the lift out here and we're actually gonna just finish assembling the upper portion of our roof. So let's, uh, let's get some scaffolding in the middle. We'll set up our keystone beam and then we grab the lift and uh, start setting the rafters on and get everything assembled. We officially got our roof on top of the silo, all the timber frames up here and are assembled. As you can see, we got our pegs in as well. These all went in nicely, so it's all being held together. We are going to leave these outer straps up till we have it all put together, all the one buys and the metal roof on. But all in all, I think uh, it went together really nicely. We didn't have any big hiccups or anything and got it done just in time. The sun just went down and it's starting to get really cold out here. so. That's good. And I think tomorrow we're gonna bring up the one buys and start laying them across our rafters. But I think uh, we're gonna shut it down for today, so we'll see you tomorrow.
our ceiling boards all up. They're one inch thick white ash boards and they kind of vary in size, but we pre-cut them in the barn before we brought everything up here to help speed it up. So when we did bring them up here, we just flew real quick. So those are up, it looks awesome. And the next steps are gonna be putting a vapor barrier down on top of this, pink foam insulation, and then we're gonna do metal on top of that. So we got a lot to do these next couple days. That's what we're gonna be working on. Cold weather's moving in, we got rain in the forecast, so that's why we threw this plastic up to kind of help protect all this wood. So we're just gonna be hitting it hard this next couple days, trying to get this roof 100% done. All right, we just finished our roof assembly on top of the silo, and this thing turned out awesome. And you can see our keystone beam here in the middle, and everything lined up perfectly. We had about three months of pre-work inside of our barn, which was basically pre-cutting all of these timbers, so that way they'd go together nicely. But there was still a lot of work assembling it up here, because we had to do a lot of shimming with this uneven cap up here. And then the circle around the silo is not perfect by any means, so we had to find a happy medium where to actually set all the posts down. But overall, we got this thing perfectly level, and we even threw some of these decorative corner bracings on here. We got a couple more little things to do. We got to order up some windows, which we'll put in these big openings, and then we're also gonna put some mortar down here in these gaps. But the next big thing is gonna be our big entryway to the silo. So what our game plan is, we're gonna have a door going into the bottom floor, and then we're gonna have a second story on that entryway, which will have a door going to our patio on the upper portion of the silo. So it's gonna be interesting. We got some more big timber frames going out there, and we're gonna do some more special joinery with those. So stay tuned with that, because we got a lot more work on the way. 